Dear Alex, please test the preamps on the six cameras. XO, XO, hugs and kit. Oh, no, that's a bad idea right now. All right. We'll do a heart. Hi, Alex. Thanks. Welcome back to EPRV TV viewers, Chris Nichols here, and today we're gonna to be talking about the preamps and cameras. This is something that's kind of undersung, but it's such an important thing, and it's really gonna determine what camera might be best for you, or what audio equipment you're gonna need for the gear that you have. Now, uh, you've often heard Jordan talk about preamps, but always just in terms of like, these are good or these are bad on this camera. So today we thought we would make this a more serious test and qualify our results. So we've got a very good friend, Alex Mitchell. He's the best sound guy in Calgary, and he's gonna help us out here today but of course, you know, with the whole situation going on with COVID-19, how do we keep guests on our show? Well, we found a very interesting way to have a conversation with Alex about this, get the results we need whilst taking all the precautions. Thanks for joining us, Alex. I, this is just how we're going to have to do things for a while, but yeah, yeah. I appreciate joining. it. Joining. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We're, 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 it's very intimate. So we're testing preamps today, Alex, but I guess the first thing is explain to us what a preamp actually does in our camera. So a preamp does what it says in the name. It amplifies something before it gets recorded. So right. preamp. Um, and most audio sources that you're going to feed into a camera, whether it's like a regular old microphone or even some kind of wireless audio system, or even a feed from like a mixing board at a conference, all of those will output some kind of signal that needs to be brought up to a level that can be recorded and heard, you know, in your software or just playing back from your camera. Okay, but it sounds like anytime we talk about digital technology at all, when you're boosting something, you're going to have some sacrifices, right? So what is the difference? I mean, Jordan's always talking about a good quality preamp or a poor quality preamp, what does that actually mean then? A good preamp, the signal is right up here and the noise is right down here so that when you're boosting things, you know, you're, you're still right. hearing the signal. But a bad preamp would have a lot more noise that sort of gets mixed in with the signal. So, you know, you want to make sure that you have a good preamp that has great signal, low noise. I always hear, okay, well, what if I have a really good microphone? If I have a high quality microphone, uh, can I get away with a crappy preamp? Or, you know, if I have a really good preamp, can I get away with a crappy microphone? I mean, how does that all work? That's a great question. And I think the way that I prefer to think of it is your preamp is the ceiling of quality that you'll be able to hear from any audio source. So you can have a really great microphone, but if you don't have a great uh, preamp, then you're not gonna really hear much of that quality. Whereas if you have a really great preamp, but kind of a middling microphone, you're gonna hear everything the microphone can give you. It still right. might not sound great, but you know, you're also not gonna be dealing with things like extra hiss or other noise introduced by a mediocre preamp. Right, and it sounds like if you have that higher ceiling and down the road you get yourself better microphones, you're gonna appreciate those benefits. Exactly. Okay, so for the six cameras that we're gonna test here today, Alex, we've got first off the Sony a7 III. Uh, we've got the Fujifilm X-T3. Now we wanted to get X-T4, they're in short supply, but Fujifilm has told us that they're the same amp, so that's good, we could test that. Uh, we've got the Olympus OMD EM1 Mark III, their latest camera. We've got the Panasonic S1H, and then we also have the Nikon Z6 and the Canon 1DX Mark III. These will be the six cameras we're gonna test. Okay, I guess I'll let you get to it and I will just uh, sit out here on the stairs and wait for you. Enjoy the Great. sunny day. <laughs> it's probably a good idea to do this anyways. Hi, did the test go okay? Cause I'm, I'm out here and the sun went away and I'm cold and I'm scared. Okay, so I finished testing all six cameras and I actually found some interesting things out about how each one of them handles audio. Um, okay, so our first test was gonna be like, if you get your audio proper, proper levels, 
what did you find out? All right, so these are the instructions for keeping your hands clean from the CDC. Hand washing is one of the best ways to protect yourself and your family from getting sick. Wash your hands often to stay healthy. You can help yourself and your loved ones stay healthy by washing your hands often, especially during these key times when you are likely to get and spread germs. You should wash your hands before, during, and after preparing food, before eating food, before and after caring for someone at a home who is sick with vomiting and or diarrhea. Most of the cameras actually sounded pretty great. There were one or two exceptions to this, but I'm just going to go from the top. Okay. Um, the Canon sounded fantastic, actually. Mm. That was a big shocker because historically there's been a bit of hiss there. Um, the Fuji, I mean, a lot of people have talked about how good it sounds. I thought it also sounded really good. The Nikon sounded pretty solid, actually. Um, I haven't really seen a lot of great stuff being thrown around about its audio, but it performed very well. Um, the Olympus, um, this camera actually was not too shabby. It sort of stayed in the middle of the pack. Um, the Panasonic 1H, I would say probably my favorite sounding of the bunch. Um, now the a7 III was the biggest shock for me with how bad it sounded. And I try to be positive, but man, oh man, it is a lot of hiss. There is wow. so much noise in this camera. So. And this is basically the cameras under their ideal conditions. Exactly. Our second test then was, what if we have very low levels uh, out of the microphone and we have to boost these in post afterwards? Uh, of course, that's gonna increase our noise floor. How did the cameras handle that? We took what we were normally recording and we like went down 20 decibels. So we had to boost the camera's recorded audio by a lot. And um, as you suggested, yeah, like you're gonna introduce or you're gonna see all the noise that's there. And each camera did have more noise, but certainly some had uh, a couple of surprises that you didn't really notice at regular levels. Hand washing is one of the best ways to protect yourself and your family from getting sick. Learn when and how you should wash your hands to stay healthy. Wash your hands often to stay healthy. You can help yourself and your loved ones stay healthy by washing your hands often, especially during these key times when you are likely to get and spread germs. You should wash your hands before, during, and after preparing food, before eating food, before and after caring for someone at home who is sick with vomiting or diarrhea, before and after treating a cut or wound, after using the toilet, after changing diapers or cleaning up a child who has used the toilet, after blowing your nose, coughing, or sneezing. So um, the one that I think about the most actually is Canon. Um, a lot of times when you boost audio, you'll hear like a hiss. It almost sounds like running right. water. Um, but this one had a very sort of like digital, like not consistent noise. It was almost sort of like beeping or chiming or something like that. So it sounded very weird. Um, cool. Whereas like the Fuji, the Nikon, the Olympus, and the Panasonic all had sort of a similar sort of like rushing water sound. Um, one thing to note actually is that the Fuji has like almost a bit of a high pitched whine in there too. So it's got a bit of that rushing water, but also a bit of an extra weird noise. And then um, the a7 III, you know, like you would think based on the regular audio, when you boost noise 20 decibels, you get noise that's 20 decibels louder. So it wow. was, it was bad. It was really bad. <laughs> Now for the third test, we ran the mics hot. And I think what we've already learned is you really want to get your mics at the right level, but there will be some situations where I guess if you're shooting like documentary or stuff on the street, you don't know how loud people are going to be, or you might go from something really quiet to something shouting and you don't always have time to set ideal mic levels. So that kind of mimics this kind of situation, right? Exactly, yeah. So we just wanted to see how resilient these cameras were if you fed a really hot signal through them. And one of the things that'll help a camera be more resilient to hot signals are a piece of hardware that might be referred to as a limiter or an attenuator or sometimes even a compressor. There are three things that are that are sort of performing a similar function, which is taking a very hot signal that might otherwise clip and you know dampening it down a little bit so that you can still record it and get something that isn't overmodulated. And so each one of the cameras kind of performed a little bit different differently with um, you know a hot signal being fed into it. You can help yourself and your loved ones stay healthy by washing your hands often, especially during these key times when you are likely to get and spread germs. You should wash your hands before, during, and after preparing food, before eating food, before and after caring for someone at a home who is sick with vomiting or diarrhea, before and after treating a cut or wound, after using a toilet, after changing diapers or cleaning up a child who has used the toilet, after blowing your nose, coughing or sneezing, after touching an animal, animal feed, or animal waste,
So um, the Canon did a great job, actually. It performed really well. And when we sort of took a listen to it, it sounded really natural. Like if I didn't know that the limiter was on there, it, it would have been completely transparent to me. Huh. Um, the Fuji was a little crunchier than I'd like. You know, you can kind of hear the limiter affecting the audio and it just, it didn't clip, but it also didn't sound completely like it wasn't clipping, if that makes any sense hmm. to you. Nikon was actually a lot like the Canon in that it still sounded pretty good. It still sounded really natural and very usable. The Olympus was maybe not as bad as the Fuji, but not as good as the Nikon or the Canon. It's somewhere in the middle where, okay. you know, you'd notice it every now and then, but again, it wasn't totally unusable. The Panasonic, and this is unfortunate because I like how it sounds both uh, with a quieter sound and then also the regular levels. Unfortunately, uh, something with that limiter, that attenuator just didn't sound right before and after treating a cut or wound. You know, I hate to oh, sound no. like a broken record with the Sony, <laughs> but it still sounds like hot garbage. It's so noisy. It's wow. really shockingly noisy. It's your big moment. Let's give us the, the full rankings of these cameras, in your opinion. Okay, so we're gonna go from the bottom up here. Uh, it might not be a big surprise based on what I've been saying about it, but unfortunately my, my last place is gonna be Sony. Um, this is shocking because I've worked with their video cameras a lot in my career and they've usually sounded pretty decent, but the amount of noise in this camera is unbelievable. The a7 III is dead last in every one of these categories and I think that it's just one of those things that might not even be fixable in post. So. As an Olympus user, it coming in at number five doesn't sound great, but actually they've made a lot of important improvements over the years. My original EM1 Mark I is really noisy, and this is a lot less noisy, but it still just doesn't sound as good as the rest of the cameras. So decent-ish limiters, an okay noise profile when you boost it, and not a ton of noise at regular levels, but still, again, nowhere near as good as the other cameras in this pack. So number four on the list, the Fuji X-T3. And I think that there's been a lot of really good discussion about the audio in the X-T3, and I think it's warranted. It's a good sounding camera. I guess the reason that I'm not rating it as high as the others is because there was a bit of an extra whine when we boosted the signal, so that's that's a knock against it. And then the limiters also sounded a bit crunchy. Okay, now this is gonna be maybe a little bit contentious, but I'm gonna have a two-way tie for second and third place between the Nikon and the Panasonic, and I'll tell you why. Um, the Panasonic actually sounds like the best camera at regular levels and at also the lower levels boosted up, but its limiter is just not gonna protect your audio in a way that you'd want it to. It sounds really crunchy. It just, yeah, it's too much of a compromise. Whereas the Nikon is a little bit noisier, but a little bit more resilient. And it sounds way better than I expected it to. So if you need your audio to be a little bit more protected because you're in a run and gun scenario, the Panasonic might not be your best bet. You might wanna go with the Nikon. But if you have a lot more control, let's say you're doing more corporate style videos, then the Panasonic actually does sound the best of the bunch. All right, so in number one, we have the Canon 1DX Mark III. And I mean, this took me by surprise. I did not expect the Canon to sound as good as it sounded. Um, the regular levels are actually really clean. And when you boost them, although it has like a bit of a strange bit of digital noise in there, I really don't see boosting something 20 decibels being your normal operating procedure. The limiter also sounded very transparent, very usable audio. Um, I, I think for most people, the Canon 1DX Mark III is gonna give you the best audio out of these cameras. All right, so thanks so much for joining us, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video, found the information useful. Twitter, Instagram, please subscribe to the channel channel, ask questions, ask comments, you know, Alex will be checking out. We can certainly try to help you with those questions too. Thanks so much. And uh, Alex, thank you so much for your help. It was so much Anytime. good information. Um, really appreciate it. Here, let's high five, man. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Say high five. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So if I just grab the cameras, we'll get going. Um, oh, what's that? Sorry, I, I can't hear you. It's, uh, yeah, it's cutting out. No, just the box full of really expensive cameras. Alex? Alex?